Hey guys, it's uh, me again. Um, today we're going to be doing um, running OBD codes on a 92 Seville. This vehicle is equipped with OBD1, and uh, which is for 95 and older, 1995 and older. Um, if your car has OBD1, uh, what you're going to want to do is turn your key to the on position. You're not going to want to start it, you just want to turn it on. And as you can see, I have a service engine soon light on. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold off and your warmer button simultaneously. So everything goes into repair mode. And we have a code ED41. No IPC codes. No ACP codes. No SIR codes. And then we can go to your options. And your fan button to change options is down. You can go to any of these. And so we're going to go to ECM. And then you can check your data, inputs, outputs, override. You can clear your codes. Some vehicles have snapshot. Um, this one is equipped with snapshot. However, I've only known it to work in North Star vehicles. And this is not a North Star. So, don't know if it works, but you can go to your data and look at all of your voltages and such. And you don't want to do this with your vehicle running. And I looked up what um, an E041 error code, and it's a P041, and that is no cam reference signal to the engine control module, which is the ECM. And I don't really know if that's, uh, can wait or not. Uh, cam is in camshaft, and, um, you know, I don't think that's a good thing. Anyways, um, yeah, you can just keep going through your codes. If you want to go back, you'd hit off to go back. And then you could change more options. And then, if you hit off again, you can go back to your IPC, ACP, SIR, and ECM. And to get out, all you would want to do is hit auto, and it would go back to your main screen. Pretty nifty feature. But um, I'm going to have to go get uh, that code checked out, because... It's not really... I don't know if that'll break anything or not. E041 current. Hmm. Anyways, guys, that's just a quick little tip on how to use OBD1, in case you didn't know. Or if you have a scan tool, you can probably just plug it in and go, but, you know, I don't. So, hope that you guys find it useful, and um, keep up for more videos, I guess.